Hi everyone, welcome back to Vision Refocus, where we discuss all things eye health and vision related. I'm Dr. Kevin Kornbaum, and before we get into today's video, I just wanted to say a big thanks to all of you for the recent support and positive feedback we've been receiving on the channel. We just hit 500 subscribers and we're really appreciative for all the support. Please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. So in today's video, I wanted to go over another eye condition that we always hear about, and that is macular degeneration. We'll go over what it is and how it occurs, visual symptoms to look out for, as well as how it's treated, and then we'll end by looking at whether or not there is anything you could do to avoid developing this sight-threatening eye condition. Let's jump right in. Age-related macular degeneration, or AMD for short, is a sight-threatening eye condition that affects our retina. The retina is a thin sheet of neurosensory tissue that lines the back of our eye and plays a crucial role for visual function. The retina collects all the light we see in our environment and sends that information back to the brain for processing via the optic nerve. The macula is the part of our retina responsible for our central vision, including facial recognition, reading, and driving. Within the retina, we also have something called photoreceptors that help us differentiate color and motion, as well as help adapt our visual systems to different lighting conditions. Our cone photoreceptors are primarily responsible for our daytime vision, interpreting colors and seeing fine detail, while our rod photoreceptors are more responsible for night vision, peripheral vision, as well as sensing motion. So if you're an astronomy enthusiast or you've ever gone stargazing, you'll know to use your peripheral vision to help you see better. This is because our rod photoreceptors help us see better at night, as well as help us identify motion in our peripheral vision, such as the case with a shooting star or back in our hunter-gatherer days, a predator. Our cone photoreceptors are primarily located in the macula, while our rods are scattered throughout the entire retina. Each day, the rods and cones undergo a recycling process in order to keep up with the visual demands of our environment. An example of this would be when our eyes dark adapt at night or when entering a dark room. At first we can't see that well, but eventually our rod-mediated vision kicks in and we're able to see a lot better. The same process occurs when we wake up each morning and our cones become activated as the environment brightens. In macular degeneration, the retina is unable to successfully complete this recycling process. Uncleared cellular debris begins to build up in the retina, causing retinal damage. You can think about it like as if you brought your trash out on trash day, but only some of it was picked up. Eventually, you'd have a ton of waste that you don't need. This same situation can happen in the retina as well. When the retina becomes damaged, it no longer functions properly. Nutrients and oxygen can't be adequately delivered to the eye, while waste products can't be properly removed. These waste deposits are referred to as drusen, which build up in the macula and throughout the retina over time. The function of the retina can be impaired for many reasons. The risk factor most associated with retinal dysfunction and macular degeneration is smoking tobacco. Other risk factors for developing AMD include age, genetics, poor diet, obesity, and hypertension. Macular degeneration is broken into two categories, with the dry form being the most prevalent and the wet form being less common. In dry AMD, those drusen deposits we just looked at build up, and eventually the retina can begin to die in a process called geographic atrophy. Wet AMD typically begins with dry AMD and progresses with the growth of new blood vessels and possible hemorrhaging in the macula. In macular degeneration, a progressive thinning of the retina occurs, and eventually the layers can begin to break apart and separate. It's very similar to weeds growing up through a crack in the driveway. Some patients may not notice any visual symptoms at all during the early stages of macular degeneration. As things progress, people tend to notice their central vision become blurred or distorted in one or both eyes. Even with their best glasses prescription, their vision still isn't quite right. This is typically a slow process over months to years. In wet macular degeneration, things can progress much more rapidly. One day patients may be asymptomatic, and then days to weeks later, they can notice significant distortions in their central vision. When managing and treating macular degeneration, all evidence-based treatments revolve around reducing bleeding and inflammation in the retina and nourishing the macula with nutrients to help improve its function. For the early and moderate stages of dry AMD, we typically monitor these cases every six to 12 months with eye exams and retinal imaging. There are various evidence-based nutritional supplements that have also been shown to slow AMD progression, which patients are encouraged to take. These include over-the-counter eye multivitamins like Arids, Preservision. Patients can also take the main components of these vitamins separately, which include lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin. 
For the advanced cases of dry AMD and all cases of wet AMD, these patients are referred to a retina specialist where they receive periodic injections in the eye to help reduce the bleeding and swelling within the retina. Patients will often ask if there's anything they can do to avoid developing this sight-threatening condition. We start by recommending annual comprehensive eye exams, especially for those with a family history of AMD. Other modifiable risk factors should also be addressed and managed as well, with smoking cessation being at the top of this list. Patients with obesity or hypertension should also have these conditions addressed and managed with their primary care doctor as well. When treating AMD, visual prognosis varies depending on a variety of factors. In patients with wet AMD, some vision is usually recovered after treatment begins. In dry AMD, vision typically does not improve. However, when caught and treated early, patients can protect their vision and reduce the risk of further vision loss. Unless both eyes are affected, most patients are still able to perform their daily activities. Patients who have lost vision and have blind spots from advanced cases of wet or dry AMD may benefit from an evaluation with a low vision specialist. These are typically optometrists who have access to custom visual aids such as magnifiers and telescopes to help patients better use their remaining vision. A low vision evaluation for someone who's lost even a small amount of vision can be a life-changing event. If you have AMD or know someone who does, I highly recommend looking into this. Oftentimes, patients are not referred to low vision until a significant amount of vision has already been lost, but this doesn't need to be the case. Sometimes just learning what tools are available can be useful and help restore hope for patients. And because many patients with early AMD may not have any visual symptoms at all, it's important to have a comprehensive eye exam by your trusted eye care professional. When caught and treated early, patients with AMD are able to maintain their vision and quality of life for years and decades to come. So there you have it. I hope this video provided some additional insight into what macular degeneration is and how it can affect your eyes and vision. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Also, if you have any ideas for eye-related topics you'd like to see covered in a future video, please let me know as well. For more videos on eye health and vision, feel free to check out the other videos on our channel and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.